All right, all right, all right. Let's wrap this up. Why don't we, guys? You know, there's not much beef or drama that goes to part four on this channel. It actually might be the first time ever. Nick Merckx versus Huskers. A final wrap-up and response by Nicky Merckx on the topic, guys. Unless Huskers decides to do something else out of turn, I've been seeing you guys way too much throughout this. I'm going to play for you guys the last Nick Merckx response on the topic, and then afterwards we'll talk about the, the brief back and forth between these two top Warzone figures which at the very end of the day, right, it's definitely some trash talk between these two guys. Certainly don't seem to really, you know, like each other, but it is very entertaining for both sides to, to see uh, this kind of bickering back and forth. And certainly uh, there have been a lot of comments on both sides. This one, here's the last response from Nick, pretty much calling out the, uh, the jealousy aspect of what Huskers is calling him out for, as well as talking about Huskers calling out his gym streams and that new movement that Nick Merckx is kind of getting back on as well on Twitch. But here's what he had to say. I mean, listen, you know, I, I've said all I have to say about that, you know. Guy's a goofball, man. He knows better. He knows better. Listen, when your second YouTube channel is doing better than his whole YouTube channels, you know what I mean? Like, I, we, I released a shorts YouTube, and it's pretty much doing better than his main channel, you know? I mean, dude, Huskers, that motherfucker is so out of touch, and he's like a low-key hater, guys. I mean, I'm serious. Somebody said, so because of all this, people have been, like, giving me clips and shit? Uh, wrap your head around this for just a second. I'm doing a gym stream, and I got like 25,000 viewers, and somebody sent me a clip of him, and he clicks on my stream, and he sees me doing this gym stream. This is a while ago, and he's like, I don't understand. I don't understand, like, why 25,000 people want to watch a man lift weights. I don't understand. Like, it doesn't make any sense, you know? Like, just go to the gym. I don't fucking get it. And at the time, he's sitting there with his little fucking 5K, 8K viewers, you know? Listen. Guys, listen, it, there's, a, there's a reality in all this. Like, we got to wake up. And the wake up is, the reality is, is that people are, the, it, jealousy leaks out in certain ways. You know what I mean? It, he, he thinks because he's this outstanding f BR player that he deserves all these viewers. But there's more to Twitch and there's more to entertainment than just being good at a video game. We talk about that a lot. Every time we give advice on how to be a streamer and stuff, I mean, we never just say only skill, you know? But imagine being that much of a f***ing loser. That you can't wrap your head around what we're doing here and what the MFAM is and what we're doing with the GBT thing, right? I mean, that's some loser type shit. It really is. Like, even if you don't like a f***ing guy, when he's doing something positive and he's pushing people in, 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 a, in a positive direction and there's some good things happening, for you to knock it down or hate on it or say some weirdo shit like that, it's just, I, I don't know, man. Really? Uh, even if you don't like somebody, really? That's just weird. It's not about taking shots. It's just, listen, man, jealousy's a bitch. He, he thinks that he belongs on this f***ing pedestal because he's good at Warzone. And I'm sure, listen, I'm sure there's a lot of eSport players that think that. I mean, you you, you know the whole joke. He, he He's a content creator. I mean, you guys hear him say it. The Fortnite kids do that. The Warzone kids do that. I'm sure other communities do it too, you know? People always been making fun of Alie and shit. They make fun of PK, you know? But listen, listen. They're not making fun of PK's YouTube channel, huh? Fuck. But do they hate that he gets way more views on YouTube? Yeah, man. I'm telling you, it's it's just it's it's just uh it's the way the world works. I'm okay with it. Listen, you know, jealousy and and competition, right? It's it's there's a fine line, man. Like it's okay to be competitive. I think everybody should be competitive. Like you shouldn't want, you know, uh, you you should see somebody who's doing a lot better than you and get get hungry and get after it. Get, get, get a little drive in your step. You know what I mean? That's awesome. Now, be jealous. I don't know. You got to try to beat that Audi. It's tough. I've been jealous before, too. It's 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 a, it's a normal human. It's normal. It's normal, you know? But, again, a lot has come from these past couple days of all this crazy shit. And, and I mean, I guess I guess I think my, 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 my conclusion in it all, you know, is that I think deep down that dude – uh, thinks he's owed more viewers. I think he thinks he should be more popular. But I got news for you, for him, and, and and for you guys as well. This is this is an important. This is a good time to learn. Take take an example from Huskers, a guy that's been in the limelight greatly. I mean, I've seen his stream with with eighty thousand viewers, man. I've, I've I've seen his numbers go way up. You know, when he's playing a tournament or something. Um, 
Bro, when that many eyeballs are on you, okay, and you got that kind of viewership, and then when you go back to your day-to-day, it's not a tournament, and you go all the way back down to 8K, 5K, whatever, that, that, that should show you that, I mean, dude, unless it's a tournament, right, what are we talking about? So you got to be able to self-evaluate. You need to be able to look yourself in the fucking eyes and say, listen, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm this or I'm that, you know, and that's, that's the end of it. Don't, don't, don't look at me and don't look at swag. Don't look at Tim and get mad. I mean, what do we, bro, we can't help you. It's the way it is. It's not like you haven't had the opportunities. It's not like you haven't had the exposure. Everybody knows who you are. They just don't f-ing watch you. And, and that's, that's not, he, he shouldn't hate me for that. He, he should just understand the way it is, make adjustments, and try to do better. You know? It's just weird, man. Jealousy is a weird f- bitch but i won't act like i've never been a part of that and then to end it more so towards the huskers fans who were defending huskers in his actions and all those people out there now calling nick the bully when it was kind of huskers when we started all of this last week as well when huskers called him a man baby for what stemmed back five months ago you guys can determine who you think really started this um so by a lot of eyes out there huskers calling him a man baby was the start of this the re-stemming of that uh little bickering and so now we have Huskers fans calling Nick Merckx the bully. Here's what he had to say. There's a lot of people in the world that talk shit, and then when they get snuffed or when they get f-ing pressed, now they're a victim. They're a f-ing victim. Just weird, man. I don't. I don't know if he did, Black. I'm not really sure. You know, but. Either way, right? Either way. I will admit this is some high school baby back bullshit. You know what I mean? I'm definitely a part of it. But uh, it, you know, I got I got dragged in. I got dragged in against my will, bro. I did. I'm having fun with it now, though. I'm having a little fun with it. That's it. Just a little bit of fun. Come on, let me have a little bit of fun, and then I'm done. Come on. And I just want to say really quickly, I, I enjoy playing the middleman in this and kind of just be able to talk about it to all of you guys watching as well. I know I've seen a lot of um, uh, very heavy comments uh, uh, leaning towards one side or the other, but I do want to thank all of you guys for watching because this stuff, for me, it really is enjoyable to talk about two very well-known figures. Nick Merckx, very successful, very widely watched. Huskers, one of the top competitors in the entire game for me. It, it's truly something to see them go at each other and I know that might sound sound kind of weird But let's briefly get a TLDR for the entire instance in case you guys don't want to check out those former videos Huskers stems back the little bickering from five months ago in that duos event where Nick Merckx wanted the host for both matches to avoid Hackers and cheaters Huskers brings that back just last week calling Nick Merckx a man baby Nick Merckx responds says he doesn't effing like the guy calls him a, a middle school science teacher We call back to my my middle school science teacher, Miss Mystery, who was awesome. Huskers then goes on to start banning uh, Nick Merckx mods, including apparently Nick Merckx himself, uh, amidst some other things, maybe knocking jokes at his at his gym streams, as well as calling him a dog crap, dog poopy, war zone competitor. Nick Merckx now responds on um, calling him jealous, and amidst what we just showed you guys in that clip. A, a four-part piece of uh, bickering that I have never really um, seen go this far. But, but I have definitely, it's been interesting to actually kind of see everything unravel itself. It's certainly been something. And these kind of moments, they are, they are entertaining for all of us to see. And certainly, again, I've said it before throughout this little rivalry. If Nick Merckx does come back to competing and they ever do face off, we all know it. Uh, this is what story. This is what great esports and gaming storylines are really made of, right? And I'm kind of hoping for it because that means we get to talk about it again. Based off all of this, we now have four whole videos in case you guys want to check them out. But based off all of the responses out there, what are you guys thinking? No hard feelings towards Huskers. No hard feelings towards Nikki Merckx. I'm just, hopefully you guys understand, I'm just doing my job and talking about uh, these two fellas. Until next time, you guys know what to do. All right, it's been a heck of a ride. Drink some wah, drink some ka. I'll catch you guys back here next time. Take care.